Hello again, welcome to this week's show. Today I'm going to work with some duck. You may remember earlier I told you I got some fantastic projects from Game Farm and duck breasts were some of those. I absolutely adore duck anyway, it doesn't matter how it's prepared, I will eat it. But I particularly like it in this salad. Now the salad I'm going to make for you is a salad that you can add any protein to actually. But it does work very, very well with game. I also though make it with chicken, pork and also with uh, fish. So white meats, I guess, probably go best or game itself. Uh, quail is also divine with it. it. It is a very simple salad. It's made with couscous, so it's nice and light. Very quick to make. And apart from the couscous and the duck, predominantly everything else in it is raw. So it's very, very healthy for you as well. I make this up quite a lot. And in fact, I'll have it sitting in my fridge. Uh, it'll last for two or three days in the fridge, but I won't dress it until I actually go to serve it. So um, I've actually not got my dressing here. I've just realised I haven't bought that in, so I'm going to go and grab that shortly. But the dressing that I use is, in fact, my very fundamental basic vinaigrette, my lemon uh, juice, olive oil, salt and pepper and garlic. So we'll just grab a little bit of that because I've already got it made up in the fridge. Let me just show you, first of all, how I do my couscous. So the first thing that I do is um, we will just bring to the um, boil some water and a little bit of butter. Now, I put butter in it because I like the flavour predominantly. You don't have to do that. And I'm going to add to that as well a, a little bit of garlic. So let's just get that on and get that melted. And while that's doing that, I'll tell you a little bit about the rest of the ingredients. So obviously we've got our duck breast. Now I leave the skin on and I leave all the fat on it. That will actually come out in the pan, but it does give it the most amazing flavour. And it's also going to mix with the coating that we're going to put on it, which is sort of a Moroccan mix, I guess. Our couscous, which we'll be using in a moment, Coriander, freshly chopped coriander. We're going to use some capsicum and de-seeded cucumber. And you can see a recipe, a recipe and a video rather on the website on how to actually de-seed a cucumber if you're unfamiliar with that. We're also going to be um, putting in some tomatoes, some chickpeas, which have come out of a can. I haven't cooked those. I do go straight for the can for those. It's a lot easier. And some red onions. Now, this mixture in here is in fact cumin, coriander and flaked salt. And we're going to be uh, frying that off just ever so slightly in a pan to give it a, a nice aroma and toast it, which will add to the, um, to the flavour of this entire salad. And the other thing that I'm working with here is some preserved lemons, which I've pre-made, and there's a video on the site if you'd like to make those yourself, or you can buy them. But this gives this salad an amazing tang, so it's quite delicious. All right, so I'm going to take off now. Uh, I'm just turn off my temperature. As you can see, what I've got is my garlic in here and the little bit of butter and the water. Now, the amount of water or stock or whatever you decide to use when you make couscous is going to be exactly the same amount as the couscous. So I've got a half a cup of couscous, because I'm only making this for one person, and I'll probably get two meals out of this, by the way. And I've got um, a half a cup of water to make the two. So what I'm going to do is just bring over here a bowl to show you how to do this real quick. This is the easiest way to do it. Couscous does not really require cooking, it just requires it soaking. But we do that with warm water or boiling water. So we're going to pour that right over the top, literally coat it, give it a bit of a shake, and then just use a fork and watch it absorb that liquid and become nice and fluffy. So as you can see, that has absorbed all of that water now. The butter's gone through there and that little bit of garlic as well for flavour. Now, we can add the rest of the ingredients to that and we can let that sit. So let's just move some of these out of the way. And we literally just add them all in and mix them around. preserved lemon and most of but not all of the coriander which has been pre-chopped. Okay so we can let that sit now just for a few moments and let those flavours mix with each other and while we're doing that we're going to roast off our spices and get the duck ready. So what I've done is I've got my pan heating here and it's very very hot. We want it to be relatively hot so that when we add the spices, they, they toast fairly quickly. And what I've got in here, as I said, is the cumin, coriander, 
and I've made more than I probably need because I can use it a little later. And we're pop popping that into a dry pan and there's also some salt in there. A rather large flake just there, I'll take that one out. And just turn those around and stir them in and cook them until you can start to smell those spices. It will not take long, so do not leave them on there too long, you will end up burning them. Alright, that is literally how long it takes. It is such a short period of time. Alright, now the duck. What we're going to do with our duck is we're literally going to coat it all over. Now I'm not going to add any oil to the duck at all because it's actually quite a lot of fat on duck as you may or may not know. What we're going to do is just sprinkle some of that um, uh, spice mix that we've just done basically into there and then coat the duck all over. And I'm going to put the rest of the spice mix back into one of these little dishes that we had it in in the first place because I'm going to reuse this pan. Now, just using your fingers, just coat the duck on both sides. Now, with the meat that you're going to use for this or fish, whatever you decide to use for this particular salad, you can pan fry it or you can roast it in the oven. Depends on how much time you've got. You can, uh, if you're happy to stand and, and watch it because it won't take excessive length of time, that's great. If not, it's actually quite easy to throw it into the oven and just let it roast off in there. All right, so we've coated our duck pretty well all over. Remember, we haven't used any oil or anything, so it's not going to stick like that, but it will give an amazing flavour. All right, so back onto the heat with our pan. This time, we're going to add a little bit of olive oil. All right, so once our pan is hot enough, we then put the skin side down into the pan of our duck breast. And we're going to just watch that and allow that to cook for the next few minutes. Alright, so once it's been cooking for a few minutes, we want to turn it over and we want that skin to be crispy but not burnt. Alright, so our duck is now cooked and uh, what I did, once it finished cooking, I have wrapped it up in a little bit of alfoil and the reason I've done that is so that it can rest just for a little bit and to keep the heat in. So what we're going to do now is just to slice that up. smells great and it looks as though it's cooked to perfection. So what we want is just some nice thin slices. Perfect. Alright, so now let's serve up and we're going to start with some of our salad in the centre of our plate. and how much you serve will be dependent on whether it's a main course or an entree. Some of our duck slices around the top. A drizzle of our dressing, and remember this is my basic vinaigrette that I use on this. All I've done is popped a little bit into a jar. I usually serve with a little bit of salt and pepper on top. And finish it off with some fresh coriander slices, pieces rather. And that's all there is to it. Nice, easy, simple, but just delicious. Remember, I have used duck today, but I've also made this with quail. I've also made it with fish, chicken, pork, uh, prawns, calamari, lobster. It really doesn't matter because the Moroccan flavours that we use in the spices blend with all of those proteins really, really easily. In fact, I've also made it with tofu. So for vegetarians out there, perhaps if you don't want to go down the 
protein um, route, or at least the animal protein route, then you might want to go with tofu. Just coat that the same, fry it off exactly the same. Absolutely delicious. Thanks so much for your company today. I hope you've enjoyed the show. Uh, I hope you go away and get a, a chance to enjoy some duck. Maybe get some from Game Farm. They are the best producers in Australia, in my opinion. Don't forget to connect with me on Facebook and Twitter. And also, come back to the website for other videos, how to make the vinaigrette dressing, for example, and, uh, and also how to make the couscous. There's a separate video I did show you today, but there is, in fact, another separate video on how to do that. And, of course, uh, if you register on the site now, which is free, you'll get a copy of my ebook, The Little Black Cookbook, absolutely free as well. And uh, you can always buy the hard copy down the track if you choose. Thanks so much again for your time. I look forward to seeing you again next time on Kitchen Girl. I'm Victoria Hanson.